And what we're going to do in this lesson is we are going to find all the factors of a number. There's a way that you can figure out if you have found every single factor that fits into any given number, okay? And we're going to start with these two numbers. We are going to start with 36. And then we are going to find all of the factors of 48. Now, sometimes you may be asked to find all of the factors of a number, but you might only find most of them and leave a couple out. But there's a way, systematically, that you can identify every single factor that can be divided equally inside a number. So for 36, we are going to start with the number 1. We know that 1 is a factor of all numbers. And we know it's always 1 times itself that will produce that number. So 1 times 36 makes 36. Now to find all of the factors of a number, all we really have to do is start by counting with 1, and then we are going to test 2, and then 3, and then 4. You actually just count by 1s and keep testing each number, but there is a point that you know you have found them all, okay? And I'll show you what that is in a moment. So after you test one, well, we don't have to test that. We just know that one is a factor of all numbers. You try to see if two is a factor of that number. And because 36 is even, we know that two is a factor. And two can be divided into 36 18 times. Two times 18 is 36. So we know that one is a factor, two is a factor. Then you test to see if three is a factor. There's a quick way to see if 3 is a factor of any number. Take the number you're dividing 3 into and add the digits of that number. So in this case, we are going to add 3 and 6, which is 9. Because 3 can fit equally into 9, it will fit inside 36. But most people just know that 3 times 12 is 36. So 1 fits, 2 fits, 3 fits. Now we have to try 4. Now, what's interesting about 4 is this. 4 will always work if 2 works and the number you are multiplying 2 by is even. Because the number you are multiplying by 2 in this case is even, that means 4 will work. And we should know that 4 times 9 is 36. And one thing we should note too is, if you take a look at 2 and 4, 4 is just double 2. Because we doubled the 2, we have to take the number across from 2, which is 18, and cut that in half. And that's always going to be a fact if 2 and 4 works. The number multiplied by 2 will always be double the number multiplied by 4. Next, we see if 5 works, but we know it does not because the number has to end in a 0 or a 5. Then we test to see if 6 works. And 6 will work if 3 works and the number you are multiplying by 3 is even. Because 3 is a factor, and the number you're multiplying 3 by is even, 6 will work. And same thing as the relationship between 2 and 4. Because we doubled 3 to get 6, we have to take the 12 and cut that in half, and that is 6. But we should know that 6 times 6 is 36. Now, when you are creating a factor list, and you are systematically going in order like this, if you come across a factor pair that is a number times itself, that means you have found every single factor that fits inside that number. That's a signal that you should stop at that point. Now let's look at all of the factors of 48. We know that 1 times 48 is 48. Because 48 is an even number, we know that 2 is a factor of 48. So we just have to cut 48 in half, which is 24. And to see if 3 works, we can add the digits of 48 to see if it gives us a sum that 3 fits inside. 4 plus 8 is equal to 12. Therefore, 3 is a factor because 3 fits inside 12. And 3 fits inside 48 16 times. Next, we check to see if 4 is a factor of 48. And 4 is a factor of 48 because if 2 is a factor and the number you're multiplying 2 by is even, 4 will in fact work. So we're just going to take the 24 and break that in half, which is 12. Next, we see if 5 works and 5 does not work. 
because 48 doesn't end in a 0 or a 5. Then we test 6, and 6 does work. 6 times 8 is 48. 7 does not work. Then we test 8, and 8 does work, but notice we already have 8 in our list. I could write 8 times 6, but it is the same thing as 6 times 8. And when that happens, when you have a reversal, that simply means you have found all of the factors of that number. So when you're listing all of your factor pairs, and you come across the same factor pair, but it's just the reverse or the opposite, that is a signal to you that you have found or located every single factor of that number. Now what we are going to do is circle all common factors to 36 and 48. One is a common factor. Two is a common factor. Three is common to 36 and 48. 4 is another common factor to 36 and 48. 6 is another common factor of 48. And the largest common factor, or the greatest common factor, is 12. Now what we want to do is, on the side here, we are going to create a Venn diagram And we are going to place all common factors where the circles intersect. And we are going to make this circle here on the left represent all the factors of 36. And we are going to have this circle on the right represent all the factors of 48. So if we take a look at all the factors of 36, that are not factors of 48, we should write them in the part of the circle that only fits inside 36. Write 9 in that part of the circle because 9 is not a factor of 48, so we have to make sure that it doesn't lie inside any part of the 48 circle. And we also write 18 and 36. And the factors of 48 that are not factors of 36 are 8, 16, 24, and 48. And the common factors of 36 and 48 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. And out of all these common factors, 12 is the greatest common factor. So below, I'm going to write that the GCF is equal to 12. Now, once you have located the greatest common factor, which is 12, you can easily find the least common multiple. So below where we wrote GCF, let's write least common multiple, or LCM. And to get the LCM, you can start by writing down the GCF, which is 12. And what we can do to get the LCM is multiply it by two numbers. And the two numbers that we multiply the greatest common factor by are the two numbers that are across from the GCF in your factor list. So looking at the factor pairs of 48, look across from 12 here. We have the number 4. So we are going to multiply 12 by 4. And in our list of 36, if you look at the greatest common factor in that list, across from 12 is 3. So notice we are simply taking the greatest common factor and multiplying it by the two numbers that are across from the greatest common factor in your factor lists. If we start with 4 times 3, we know that has a product of 12. So we can multiply the greatest common factor of 12 by 12, and that will equal 
144. So what we have done is we have found a systematic way to identify every possible factor of 36 as well as 48 and then we identified common factors and wrote them in the intersecting portion of our Venn diagram and then we identified what the greatest of those common factors is and then we multiplied the GCF by the two factors being multiplied by each of the GCFs in your factor list and that's how you can come up with the LCM. Now let's take a look at these two numbers and do something else with them. We are going to use the latter method to find the GCF as well as the least common multiple. So write 36 and 48 right next to each other. We write an upside down division sign. This is what is referred to as the latter method because you can eventually create steps to get to your answer. Now we already know that 12 is the largest number that fits inside these two numbers. So on the outside here, we are just going to write our greatest common factor, which is 12. And 12 can be divided into 36 three times, and 12 can be divided into 48 four times. So we already know that the GCF is equal to 12, but there is a couple things that I want to point out using the latter method. One of them is, if we take the GCF, and multiply it by the numbers at the bottom, we would get our least common multiple. So if we multiply 12 by 3, that is 36, and 36 times 4 is equal to 144. And there is one more thing that I would like to point out, and it is this. When you use the ladder method and you get your numbers at the bottom, what you can do is take one of the numbers at the bottom and cross multiply it by the number at the top. For example, if I multiply 3 times 48, that would end up giving us the least common multiple as well. I could also select this number here, the number 4, and cross multiply that with our number at the top, which is 36. That will also give us an LCM of 144. So let's multiply these numbers out just to verify that that would in fact give us the least common multiple. 3 times 8 is 24. We carry the 2. 3 times 4 is 12 plus 2 is 14. So that does in fact give us a product of 144. And for 36 times 4, 4 times 6 is 24. We carry the 2. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14. So you can either multiply this number here by both numbers at the bottom, or you can cross multiply the number at the bottom with the number at the top that you started with to get the LCM as well.